whatever we can do to help you push this project because I believe in independence and even though you are getting a major distribution deal, right. so to speak, you still need to be that force behind your product. I mean, it's unfortunately that a lot of artists get signed to major labels that have millions of dollars for promotions, but they don't right. put it behind the artist. Exactly. But that artist will get $50,000 not knowing that he should take that 50000 and reinvest it in himself. Yeah, see, that, that's another thing. It's like, sorry to cut you that's off. That's okay. <laughs> When you're independent, yeah, 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 yeah. No, just kidding. <laughs> when you're independent, you, if you um like start negotiating a major contract, you can have everything in your contract that you want to have in there. You can have it. Just like you're saying, if they stop promoting your project or don't have like the necessary promotions that you want to have, you can have it in your contract where you might have like a hundred thousand dollar, like a hundred thousand dollar flush fund. Where if they stop doing it, you can take that hundred thousand dollars and start putting it towards yourself. And that's why it's good to be independent first because. If you weren't independent, you wouldn't really know what to do with that hundred thousand dollars. Exactly. Oh, but they if you know. had the independent experience, <laughs> then you would know what to do with that hundred thousand dollars. Rent you a van, and you know what I'm saying. Start getting TV commercials, all that kind of stuff. Exactly. To help yourself out. Exactly. I mean, that's see, you've learned so much just <laughs> being involved yeah. in the business. I mean, you have rappers come onto your show for interviews, and they have the bling bling and right. all that. The stuff you're wearing right now, <laughs> bling bling. Unfortunately, right. it's paid for people. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, you know, they come on the show with the bling bling and it, they don't even own it. It's the Bang. record label's <laughs> bling bling, you know. So Bang. when you leave, say, bad boy, mm. your bad boy emblem is gone. Like, exactly. they take it. Like, repossession. You yeah. have not recouped <laughs> that word we're always talking recoup, about at recoup. NBC. Recoupment. Tell us what recoupment means. I'm going to tell you what recoupment <laughs> is right here. I'm just about to show you. This okay. is recoupment right here. Okay. It's okay. like having a credit card. You know what I'm saying? Somebody is giving you money, basically, and you using it, and you know it has to be paid back. And you know how many black folks have bad credit, right? <laughs> so this, this recoupment stuff is going way too far. You know what I'm saying? You have to be <laughs> smart with your money. That's real. Record labels are nothing. labels are nothing but... Major creditors. They giving you up. They giving you a credit card. They giving you your platinum card. You wanted your platinum card all this time, or you getting it? So being independent is basically being your own creditor, right. your own investor exactly. as a whole, creating leverage. So when you go to these record labels, they're not like your creditor anymore. They're your investment company. Right. They're investing in another business, so to speak, because you have a company, you, they have a company. So now there are two companies actually doing business together. Exactly. And a lot of folks don't really know how to manage their money like real good. And I mean, you know what I'm saying? No problem with that. That's why you also need to get with music <laughs> business consultants because they will teach you how to invest your money, how to use your money so that it will help you out in the long run. Thank you, darling. You see what I'm saying? It's but, real. But a lot of rappers need to come up to you right. and ask you, really, man, how do I do this? Mm. I mean, of course, you don't have all the time in the world to talk to these guys, but that one word, independence, right. is a word that when they hear that word, they will understand that that's mine. You're telling them to... Own Build leverage for yourself. Build, I mean, it's just like moving out on your own. You know what I'm saying? Instead of living with your moms or your pops for the rest of your life, you got to get out and experience some things so that you learn. Everybody knows when they left their mama house, it was maybe hard at first, but you're glad that you did it because in the long run, it helps yourself out. Being independent is one of the most important things in the world. I mean, we don't diss record labels or anything. We nah. just want <laughs> people to understand what a record company means. Exactly. What's the definition of a record company? It's just not someone. It's, I mean, no offense. It's sort of like the pimp and the you-know-what. Yeah, I mean, you heard Ice-T say it on the uh, pimps up, you know, you Blank know, down. down. Yeah, right. <laughs> But I mean, basically, the more you do on your own, the better you are going to be if you ever try and get with a major label. It's like if you record your album, you know what I'm saying, you have it done, you get it pressed up, and then you're out there selling it out of your trunk, or you get an independent distributor and you're selling it. If a major label wants to come, then the least they will do is buy your album from you. So that eliminates the recording budget totally. that has to be recouped when they, you know what I'm saying, when in a regular contract, that it, it, it takes away the advance money that has to be recouped. They just giving you money for your album, basically. So that's the least. So the more you do on your own, the better. The fuck am I just cheesing for? This is, this is four o'clock in the morning. Independent artist entrepreneurship. Nigga just fucking smile at the camera like a goddamn psychopath. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond.
My name is Dorian from Group82Music.com. Right here, we got Ludacris talking about everything being independent and how recruitment is like having a credit card. This was an older clip. I want to say it was probably around 2000, and it was when Ludacris was an independent artist. And when he was an independent artist, Ludacris had to do every single thing on his own. Um, and by every single thing, I mean like he was working at a radio station, he was trying to be a rapper. His radio name was Chris Lover Lover. The radio station was 97.9, I think, in Atlanta. And everybody knew who he was because he was one of the radio personalities on the hip hop station in Atlanta. Artists came through Atlanta, they was always coming up to the station, but nobody was taking him seriously. And he literally did everything on his own. Like he used the radio station as studio time. Like he would get off of work or when people in the radio station wasn't there, he would go in there, he would record his songs and he pressed up his CDs and he spent all of his money, man, and dropped Incognito, which was his debut mixtape and he sold that shit out of the trunk and he called every single radio person he knew in the industry because he was a radio personality and he had them play the record and they played it and it got a street buzz and then he was able to build up a lot of leverage where he was able to get a good record deal and then he became the person that we know today. Ludacris' grind is something everybody should know and everybody should study. He had a VH1 behind the music. Go watch it because it really, really gives you insight on how he was able to break through. These major labels have been doing the same thing for 30 years, man. 40 years, 50, 60 years, actually. They've been doing it for a long, long time. If you want to be pimped, sign to a label. If you want somebody that's just gonna give you some money, they want you to pay them back plus interest, sign to a label. Because that's all they're doing, especially now. Like at least at this time, they were giving you radio promo. They was putting you on BET, 106 and Party, putting you on MTV. They are not even doing that no more, man. Like there are a lot of dudes whose Instagrams is more popping than the placements that the labels get them on magazines and shit. Like it's sad, the labels don't do shit. Have you ever went and looked at the Facebook and Instagram ads that labels run? There's this tool, it's called Facebook Ad Library. You can go in there, you can type in anybody's names, you can see the ads that they're running right now. Go to Warner Music, go to Universal Music, go to Sony Music and look at the ads they're running right now. We're on Facebook and Instagram all goddamn day. Why aren't they running ads for artists? If you're not doing that, why the fuck would I trust you with my music? What reason do y'all want to be signed? This is Ludacris telling you back then. He had already did the independent grind. So he was getting signed to make things easier. And then he got out and now Ludacris still gets $80,000 to perform for 15 minutes at the University of Georgia halftime of the spring football game like five years ago. He used the label as finances to push his songs up there, and now he's out, he does everything on his own. What are you gonna use the label for? A lot of y'all have no plan. Y'all be saying promo. What the fuck does that even mean, promo? That's like you saying you need food. Okay, do you want sushi? Do you want pizza? Do you want gerbil shit? Like, what do you want to eat? You can't just say food. You can't just say promo. You need Facebook and Instagram ads? You need TikTok ads? Do you want a press run? What are you doing? You don't know. So if you don't know, why the fuck would you ever want to sign out the pond? Y'all stay true. Group82music.com.